Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. Welcome to chapter 3, Differentiation of Exponential, Logarithmic and Trigonometric Function. 3.1 Differentiation of Exponential Function. So in this chapter, you will have three main subtopics, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 and 3.4. So in this video, we will cover 3.1 exponential function. So let's look at our learning outcome. So the learning outcome is to differentiate the exponential function fx equals to ex and fx equals to e power of ux. Whereby ux can be any function that you have learned before, either linear, quadratic, and etc. So let's look at the different types of derivative of exponential function. So there are three types. The first one is when you differentiate e power of when you differentiate e power of x, you will get e power of x itself. So this is the most basic one. And then the second type is when you differentiate e power of ax plus b, you will get a times e power of ax plus b. So where does the value a comes from? So we look at types number three to know more. Alright. So for number three, when you differentiate e power of fx you will get e power of fx times with f prime x. So f prime means you differentiate fx, the power over here. So that's why if you look at type number 2, we get a from the differentiation of ax plus b. Alright, so let's look at our first example. Example 1, differentiate each of the following with respect to x. So our first example y equals to e power of 2x. Alright, so first thing first, as you can see here, in front of here, we have constant 3. So what we need to do with number 3, we just copy back. So first bracket 3, and then the second bracket is you differentiate the power over here. So you differentiate 2x, you will get 2, and then multiply with exponential 2x. So simplify it, 3 times 2 is 6, so 6 exponential 2x. Very easy. So let's look at example B. So y equals to 3 exponential 2 minus 3x. Same as A, so we just copy this constant 3 here. Alright, and then you differentiate the power over here. So you will get negative 3 and then you copy back the original function. So exponential 2 minus 3x. And then you simplify, you get negative 9 exponential 2 minus 3x. Alright, and then we look at example C. So y equals to exponential x over 3. So our case here, we don't have any constant. So just differentiate our power. So differentiate x over 3, we will get 1 over 3. And then you copy back the exponential function. So exponential x over 3. Alright, very easy. Okay, so let's look at example 2. So here we are given y equals to 2 times exponential set x. Alright, so if you look here, set x we can change it into index form. So, first thing first, we change to index form. So, 2 times exponential x power of 1 over 2. So, it will make you easier to differentiate the power. Alright? So, next step, dy dx. First, copy back number 2 here. So, 2 is a constant. And then, you differentiate the power. Second bracket. So, differentiate x power of 1 over 2, you will get 1 over 2, x power of negative 1 over 2. Close bracket. And then, we copy back the exponential function, exponential x power of 1 over 2. Alright, so are we finished yet? No, we can still simplify it. So, 2 and 2 can cancel out, so we get x power of negative 1 over 2, exponential x 1 over 2. To the power of 1 over 2. So that's our answer. Alright, so let's look at example B. So we are given y equals to exponential negative 2x squared plus 3x. So the power here is a quadratic. Alright, so we don't have any constant in the front. So directly we 
uh, we differentiate the quadratic function. So differentiate negative 2x squared plus 3x. So you will get negative 4x plus 3. And then you copy back the exponential function. So that is our answer, the most simplified one. Alright, and then we look at example C. Alright, so C, we're given y equals to 1 over 2 times exponential power of negative x squared plus 2. Okay, so first thing first, what you need to do is you need to change the form first. So 1 over 2, we can take it out. So we become 1 over 2 over here. And then exponential, we bring it to the uh, numerator. So we will get exponential negative negative 3x squared plus 2. Alright, and then you simplify the negative sign, you will get y equals to 1 over 2, exponential 3x squared minus 2. Okay, so far so good. And then we differentiate y with respect to x. So first thing first, you can see here, this is a constant, copy back constant 1 over 2. And then you differentiate the power over here, differentiate 3x squared minus 2, we get 6x. And then copy back the exponential function, exponential 3x squared minus 2. Alright, so we can still simplify 2 and 6, so we get 3x times with exponential 3x squared minus 2. Alright, very easy, so that is our example 2. Move on to example 3. Okay, so if y equals to e exponent, uh, e x cubed, find d to y dx squared and evaluate it when x equals to 1. So, they want us to find second derivative. Alright, you, you already learned second derivative in chapter 2. So, please recap, recap back. Okay, first thing first, to find second derivative, you need to find the first derivative. So, find dy dx first. So, our function y is exponential x cubed. Alright, so when you differentiate res with respect to x, differentiate the power first. So x cubed, you differentiate, you get 3x squared. Then you multiply with the exponential function here. So very easy for first derivative. Okay, what you need to do second derivative, as you can see here, we have two components here. So we can let 3x squared as u and e x cubed as v. Okay, recall back in chapter 2. So, when you want to differentiate two things that you can multiply together, so you can use form product rule formula. Alright? So, what is our product rule formula? So, product rule is u v prime plus v u prime. Alright? So, our second step, I already write it down for you. So, this, our u is 3x squared. So, this is our u. And then, our v is v prime is differentiate as e x cube so here over here i forgot the bracket all right and then plus so this is u this is v prime plus v u prime all right according to the formula so please please put bracket here all right and then the next step you need to solve okay so copy back 3x square because we didn't do anything okay we differentiate E exponential x cube. So we already differentiated it in the first step here. So just copy back the answer. So I put bracket over here. The second bracket is 3x square exponential x cube. And then plus with exponential x cube. Differentiate 3x square, we get 6x. Okay, only then we simplify. So we Multiply the first bracket to the second bracket, so we get 9x power of 4 exponential x cubed, alright, plus 6x exponential x cubed. So the last step, we, we need to factorize the common factor. So here, we have 9 and 6, so we can factorize 3. And then the first one have x, this have also have x, so factorize x. And then both have exponential x cubed, so we can factorize exponential x cubed. So what we left behind is, <clears throat> this one is 3x cubed, and then this one is 
2. Alright, so if you expand back the bracket, you will get <coughs> the equation here. Alright, so next, okay, what we need to do is we need to evaluate. So our next step, we need to substitute x equals to 1. So already done for you. So just substitute any x that you find here with 1 and then you use your calculator and you will find the value 40.77. Alright, very easy. Okay, so <clears throat> that's all for example 3. So here is your exercise 3.1. So you can pause the video if you want to screenshot the question. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you for your attention and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.